was going to do this uh, pit tuning for TP3 video uh, sooner, uh, but I wasn't very uh, hundred like I wasn't hundred percent satisfied with my uh, pit tuning, so I spent a f uh, about uh, one or two weeks testing them, the testing the the, the tune and um, testing all the ESC version, Jazz Maverick, uh, 3248, RPM filtering, and uh, e JSC as well, 2448, uh, but without RPM filtering. And so I'm testing the uh, the, the default uh, BR Heli uh, ESC version as well, and I found out that um, it does this uh, JSC or uh, Jazz Maverick, doesn't really match much of the different uh, to the uh, for the TP3 probably because uh, TP3 is a very powerful quad and, uh, big, and it flies similar to a big quad and people are reporting that bigger quads um, the, you can't you don't really feel much difference you, uh, using uh, a JSC 48k and or RPM filtering but um, but you do f find I do find that the battery um, were like can be uh, will be a little bit cooler than usual if you're using 48k or JSC 24 and uh, but for new pilots I don't recommend in, I don't recommend them upgrading the GH, uh, ESC um, you, you you may burn your ES, ESC especially you're using nameless RC, nameless RC all in one bolt because nameless RC all in one bolt the um, the the ESC version that it comes with was uh, tagged as PH15 but if you but you flash it with PH15 um, you will burn your bolt especially you're using 3S you and you won't it won't fly well uh, on 2S as well you will have overheating issue uh, you fly for a little bit and uh, the the bolt will heat up very very fast. Right. So the TP3, why I'm doing this um, tuning video for TP3 is that I found out that the TP3 doesn't fly well um, in default setting, PID setting. Um, most probably because the uh, TP3 is very light and uh, is made out of actually one that is the four arms, sub, uh, individual arms, and uh, two plates, top, bottom plate, and upper plate. The arms is only uh, the arms are only 2.5 mm uh, height, and uh, the plate, the bottom and the top plate is only 1.5 mm each. So prop, so it's so it's light, and uh, and it's made of so many different components. That's why probably um, the frame is not as solid as uh, the uh, unibody baby tooth. I can actually, the baby tooth is actually very easy to tune the unibody um, 3mm. But uh, as whenever I switch the, uh, in all, the, all the parts, the component to the TP3, I find that the P3 doesn't fly well if I don't tune it. So it will fly like this, bobbling, and does uh, not very smooth as well. All right. So I've been um, trying all the tune. Uh, trying all the JSC, all the um, uh, ESC version, um, I, but I recommend not don't upgrade to JSC or just maybe if you don't know what to do, how to do it, just use standard uh, default one. Uh, but make sure you flash it using PH90 or PH120 if you're using nameless or nameless RC board. So I have from my uh, numerous testing. Um, both PH90 and PH120, um, both flies are okay. Um, they, um, you can use either PH90 or PH20. Right. So why are my tunes? So the actually the before I go to the tunes, so what are my criteria? My criteria number one is that it has to be, it has to fly, um, um, like stable. It won't like fly like this wobbling. Number two is it has to fly very smooth. And, uh, and number three is that it's fly very efficiently, meaning that um, the uh, the core temperature. I'm actually observing the core temperature through the OSD, so make sure the core temperature are as low as possible, and uh, it's not going up or, or down, and uh, they are constant and it's not very high. So the core temperature is about 40 to 50 uh, degrees Celsius only, and the so, so the other thing I um, my criteria is that. 
the tune ha um, will, will have to have a good battery life. So, so from this tune, if I fry aggressively on 2 edge, I can get about at least about 6 to 7 or sometimes 8 minutes of flight using 2 edge 450 uh, beta FPV or G GMB. Um, just a normal lipo. I don't use HP uh, lipo. And uh, for three days, I can get consistently uh, about eight to nine minutes, right? And um, so, and the other thing is that uh, another of my criteria is that it has to find um, yeah, the uh, is um, very like without prop wash as few as few prop wash problem as possible, and. Um, and oh, the other thing is that it has to be uh, to be able to we, we, I can like uh, control it very easily. So meaning that I can um, turn on the dime and I can stop almost immediately, even on in acro mode, right? So what are my tunes? Uh, I share my tunes. Right. So this is my tune. So this, the, the purpose for this tune is that uh, is actually to help uh, new pilots because if you don't know how to tune the, uh, the TP3 uh, well, you will find that it's not enjoyable. But actually the TP3 platform is very enjoyable if, it, if, you, if we tune it properly. Right. So, so I spent a few weeks doing this. Uh, you can uh, use this as your best tune. Uh, meaning that you can base it on this tune. After that, once you get better, you can actually uh, adjust some of the, the tune as well uh, according to your own particular quad because every quad will, will be a bit different and according to your own uh, flying style flying style as well. Right. So what I do is that, uh, so we go to this, um, okay, here. So ESC motor feature, ESC motor protocol. Just use the short three three hundred, enough. So don't I don't uh, enable this motor stop, meaning that the the uh, the props will always be spinning, even if I don't uh, put on any throttle, and uh, the 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 would the, the prop will be spinning. It's just almost like this uh, anti gravity, um, not anti gravity, almost like this. A mode. So I don't use A mode. I don't like to use A mode uh, because when you uh, if you're not used to u using A mode when you land, the uh, the quad will pop up and down, right? So I don't really like it. Right? So just so this actually substitute A mode for me and a lot of pilots as well, right? And for this um, motor pose, I put twelve. And uh, because smaller motors like the uh, F FPB Cycle 13 or 3, uh, smaller motors is actually uh, 12. The poles are normally 12. And uh, so this uh, motor either throttle value I put 4. I found that it works well for me. And I'm actually using props out. So meaning the props actually spin outwards. So in default the props spin inwards. But I set my uh, quad to spin outwards. So you, you don't have to do this. You just do as default. It's spin inwards, right? But if you want to do spin outwards, you have to go beyond heli switch to like uh, make each in the, and, uh, to ensure that each individual motor spin outwards and the props also the higher side has to go spin outwards. See the higher side spin outward. Here also the higher side spin outward. Here also the higher side. This higher side spin spin outwards, away from the quad, right. you don't have to do this, right. and this, um, the gyro update frequency, 4K, 4K, right. the rest uh, is just that I don't use A mode, so turn on anti-gravity, uh, dynamic filter, all this, right. soft serial, tele telemetry, right. so the next page we are going to uh, the pit tuning. So the pit that I found, the pit profile setting that I found uh, works for the TP3 well and for my particular preference is that I'm using 1.1 master multiplier, PD balance I'm using 1, PND gain I'm using 1.4, stick response gain I'm using 0 0.8 and um, 
item relax I'm using RP as assist and use gyro and I'm using cut of tank so I found uh, what I've uh, gathered is that uh, this particular setting is good for freestyle so if you're racing you'll probably need to uh, change this to um, set point here set point and uh, you just change it to 20 the other thing I changed uh, from my research uh, uh, from uh, these uh, other experts um, um, on YouTube videos and um, um, they actually I found that one video very good I actually he recommended uh, 30 deeming gain 30 and uh, it's a uh, advanced juror I found that it works well so I just use it right. the rest are default so we go to red profile setting I'm using 0 0.9 super red I'm using 0 0.59 uh, raw pitch and yaw and um, I'll say export I'm using 0 0.1 for all for all of them as well so why I'm using this one is that um, I've actually looked at one of the Roto Riot uh, pit tuning episode and uh, this is the uh, red profile used by uh, Captain Hanover and I'm actually a, a fan of his he's a world champion racer and uh, he's a very good freestyle um, pilot as well so I've used this but his particular red profile I have I found that it works well, so I'm just I, I just use this red profile. So you can use your own particular red profile as well. But if you don't know what to do, you can use this particular set, setting. So the other thing we go now we go to filter settings. Filter setting I found that my particular DP3, right? It works well with uh, 1.3, 1.3 gyro filter, master multiplier and term multiplier 1.3. So I just move this normally from this other, the advice here. They recommend both move this both to the same uh, area. So it's basically you move, uh, uh, you push it to less default and then you fly the quad. So you now make sure it flies well and make sure the uh, the motor doesn't heat up, right? And so I found that uh, one point three works well, right? The rest are actually uh, default setting. So you can um, use this um, default setting as a base uh, for your initial tune. Uh, once you get used to uh, flying the quad and uh, you learn more about how to tune your quad, you can actually start to uh, like um, slightly modify this tune to more to your liking and more specific to your particular quad. But I found that this this quad this particular setting should work well for both two S and three S and for uh, for I think most of the uh, DP3 uh, build right so for the uh, the videos of the uh, the flight I'm going to upload them separately uh, one is a video uh, on 2S the other one video on 3S alright thank you very much hope uh, this particular team video will help uh, you to enjoy your TP3 because initially I don't really enjoy my TP3 because I don't really uh, know how to tune it properly once I have uh, tuned it properly I really love it it's very fast it's very smooth very agile and uh, and the battery lasts uh, very long and uh, it doesn't uh, stress the battery as well so you will have uh, um, like longer lasting batteries Alright, so you'll save a lot of money in the long term as well. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope this video helps you uh, in your FPV flying, especially the DP3. Alright, thank you.